and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Ready to laugh? Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, So Bob. our title today is Anyone Can Fix Shoulder Pain and Impingement at Home. We have the seven best exercises. I think Brad's saying anyone can do it because he did it. And, uh, right. <laughs> they're actually, we're probably, you know, we're not including some people like if you're in handcuffs. Right. Or, well, Bob, we... we yeah, we were going over the edge there a little bit, but, you know, it's well, a fact. I'm not talking about your wife putting you in Bob, it. Bob, Bob, why, not, Bob? Let's get on with the show. It's a family show. show. It's a family show. By the show. way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to Bob and Brad. When does this one mic go up? Friday. Friday. Um, yeah, we're still giving away, right? Yeah, we're giving away the, right uh, here. the massager. Go to BobandBrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. We're giving away the handheld massager. You want to do it? What's nice about this is that with the handle like that, you can actually get in the spots you normally couldn't get. Well, that's right. With like a massage gun. Very well priced, too. It it's is. High quality, low price. Uh, go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page of the contest. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. If you're tired of us rambling and you want a 60-second version of us. Yes. Oh, I better put the toy away here anyways. Here we go, Bob. Now, again, I've had a shoulder problem. It was chronic for about a year from swimming. Yeah. Now, the thing about this, because of my work, I don't do a lot of overhead or manual work, except for, on, you know, if I got something going on at home. So it wasn't a big problem with my daily life. So right. I, I kind of left it go. And finally, I got to get rid of this because it's interfering with my swimming. Well, you got to understand, Brad. Brad has one speed. And it's turned all the way up. Oh, that's that's it, how he works it, out. It, that's how he... It's off or on. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, yeah, it, it is an issue with my personality. And my wife puts up with it well. Anyways, that's the main thing. Uh, so, But I've decided I got to get after this. So I did what therapists say. You yeah. have to do your exercises consistently and do all of them. Right. Um, so that's what I did. And sure enough, within a month, it's getting much better. Uh, anyways. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No you kidding. Listen to yourself. And so we're, we're going to back up. Now, my shoulder was, uh, it has been this bad with this episode. Uh, it, if you have a shoulder that's so bad that it hurts just because you recently hurt it to do anything, we're going to back up to just doing a Codman's exercise where you let your arm just dangle, really relaxed. It should feel good. Um, and just let it relax for, you know, 30 seconds or so. You can move it forward and backwards, right and left. Um, the other big thing. And Man, this is a big thing. Yeah, th this, th this lot, is probably more important yeah, than Yeah, people are, are really surprised how much this can make a difference. Just get a couple pillows. You know, if you're in a recliner, you know, if you're in the car, not when you're driving, of course, but, you know, but if you're a passenger, bring your yeah. pillows and just let that shoulder relax. I, it's amazing. It may not feel that bad. It's like, oh, it hurts a little bit. It's not a big deal. Then you do this and it's like, oh, boy, that that's nice. You got to let it calm down. Right. And if you're letting the arm hang like this, it's still working. Yeah. The muscles are firing and the tendons are firing. You know, right. So you, you got to make a conscious effort to... Whenever you possible, you support that arm and in bed too. Oh yeah, yeah. right, yeah. exactly. Um, now, when it's feeling better, you can start to exercise it. This is probably the rotator cuff king exercise, if you will, Bob. Uh, every yep. therapist knows this one. Um, you do need some resistance bands, yes. Okay, and you do need a place to anchor it, or you can put it around a bed post or a doorknob. Right. Uh, I've had many patients use a doorknob, open the doorknob up, and knot it up or whatever. But you keep a 90 degree bend here in the elbow. You keep the elbow close to the ribs, not out like this. Okay. And then we're going to externally rotate the humerus. Oh, Bob, I guess Bob's done for the day. Anyway, so we work it like this and typically 10 to 15 reps. So sometimes we actually put a towel underneath it. There you go. Yeah. Make sure that. I've had right. a lot of patients. I'll do this. They don't have to do it all the time, but until they get used to the right yeah. mechanics. If, if it falls out, your elbow got too far yeah, away. you're winging out. Mm, exactly. Um, so if it hurts when you go this far, only go that far. It will improve day to day, and you'll start going out farther and farther uh, until you get normal range of motion. Okay, so do watch your elbow. I know, I know, Bob. I mean, I should put the towel roll in yeah. there. Yeah. 
Um, I know there's a specific thing with George Davies. He's an expert on the shoulder therapist. He says 30 degrees flexion, 30 degrees right. abduction. I find that's kind of really hard for most people to, to get there. To grasp. Um, yeah. So do 10 to 15 of these. And then the next exercise I've been doing is I take my hand, put it here, as long as it doesn't hurt, because it may hurt depending on your shoulder. But when you can get it here without pain, lift away from your belt line. Can you? Can, can, yep. That, so you're strengthening yep. the the internal rotators of yep. the rotator cuff, and, and it, to start off with, this will probably be plenty for you. Yep. Um, exactly. And after a while, you may want to add some resistance. Yep. So th that's where I'm at right now. I just started like that, and it, but felt good afterwards. And then I found out too. Look at my shoulder, the stripe on my uh, shirt. When I do this, I'm actually slightly bringing the shoulder back. The muscles are working very uh, diligently, but you can't see the movement. It's a subtle movement. A little resistance here, and then I'll do 10 of these. He's getting his, yeah, making sure his posture is really good. Yeah, uh, basically exactly. is what he's saying, and uh, keeping that shoulder back. Right. Sometimes I'll do two sets of those. Um, sure. And you could do three sets if it's feeling good. Now, how often are you doing those, Brad? Oh, every day. Sometimes you twice a day. Day. Yeah, okay. it depends on my other exercises. Even the strengthening. Yeah. Okay. Well, now, when I first started, you know, a month ago or six weeks ago. That I, was too much. Yeah, I wasn't using the bands. And Listen we, to your body. Right. Because you, your body's going to be different than anybody else's body. Yeah. And, and if you overdo it, you you'll overdo it. Yeah, irritate it, it and you have a setback. I'm really good at doing that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, the next one. Let's see. Statue of Liberty, is it? Yep. So, th th you want to do traction yes. on it uh, and there's a whole book by a, a shoulder surgeon about impingement pro uh, dr kirsch yeah do we have i think yeah, it's, it's over here there. i think so you can do it seated you can use a voya stick or a, a doll piece of dowling or a broomstick and you get your hand up high above your head you know you go as high as your shoulder tolerates it and then you lean forward and you get that shoulder if i let go you know it just actually increases your elevation you can start here and do it with the boy stick we call it the statue of liberty because that's where your hand position is when you can get to this i didn't have to do this my shoulder was not that bad i had to get more aggressive which the next step is doing the hanging sure handles. um brad do you want to show how not to do it let the oh, arms slide yeah down i did this with a patient i showed him he went home and did it and he came back and he demonstrated he went like this and he he let his hand slip down. Yeah, it's got a grip. Yeah, I did not do a good job of. I, I'll tell you, people really like this exercise, even with arthritis, shoulder arthritis, because they start low. Yeah. And, you know, they're able to do it. And then when they come back the next time, they can see that they made progress. Right. And they're really proud of themselves yeah. and they, their arms are moving sure. better. Yeah, you could put a piece of tape on there to see where you're starting. Sure. Um, I'll read the book while you're heading over there, Brad. So um, I think they're on the fifth edition now. It's shoulder pain, the solution and prevention, the exercise that heals the shoulder and relieves back pain. It's by Dr. John Kirsch. He was a uh, certified board, uh, board certified orthopedic surgeon. Right. Uh, yeah, and that book is not that expensive. It's like I don't know, ten or fifteen yeah, bucks somewhere in right. there. It's a, and it's made for the layperson, yeah, as well as the therapist, because he gets some details. He recommends using a pull-up bar, which works well. Right. Um, we use the. The wall, the wall, the hanging handles. Uh, really the same thing. Yeah. I like it because it allows freedom with the wrists. And going up against the wall, I find it ad advantageous to control my weight. Because when you first start doing this, I could not do a complete hang because it was uncomfortable. I would just go down, let it stretch. Or in the morning when I get up, I still don't completely hang right away. I, I kind of work into it for a while. I, I don't know if you can tell I'm lowering my body little stretch and i have a feeling if you're a little older this is a little more yeah important. it's if a lot more 20 years old you can probably just jump into it it's more. a lot more acceptable yeah um and then i will do a complete hang i go 20 seconds maybe 30 seconds but the dr kirsch he recommends that you can go you know minutes if you can tolerate you, it. but he talked the same way starting with 10 seconds you yeah know, i mean you yeah. gotta work your way up yeah. I, I have no intentions of going that long I, yeah i feel i'm gonna i can start swimming now and uh it's worked to hang that yeah long. most of the testimonials i saw uh and for patients that i've treated it, it just didn't need that long yeah that couple of minutes right. I, and i think if you are 
a heavier person with larger bones yep. that quite often you might need to, need to hang. He gave an example of that where a guy a little bit longer. a weightlifter. He had to hang for minutes, yeah, because yeah. he was so big. So, so yeah, there that's an extreme. That most well, well, we have a lot of strong people. On yeah, you're gonna show a chicken wing. I thought you would because you invented oh. it. Um, sure. And then I always finish off with this. Now, I couldn't do this one for the first couple of weeks because it was a little too aggressive and it hurt. Um, now, which but, arm do I Should I do it this way? Yeah, go that way because, yeah, so, it's nice on your shirt too. You so it takes that. a little bit of uh, doing here because so, some of you may have trouble getting the, the arm behind you like this. Yeah, this is the bad arm, the one down right below up. you. Yep. He grabs it with the back of his hand towards the body just like the exercise like this we did yeah grasp there palms out yep. palm out and you want to make sure you don't hit the head and you don't want to make sure you're not going like this right that's what i've seen people do yeah you want to stay standing straight up and you're just going to pull the arm like this and now i don't want you doing this exercise if you have loose joints or mm -hmm. you know shoulders that dislocate right <laughs> you right. know th this is only for people who have you know in Tight shoulders that are not going to jump out of the socket there. It shouldn't hurt while you do it. it no. shouldn't create any sharp pain. It should feel like a stretch. Yeah, just you a, start off just a gentle, doing mm -hmm. a little bit. Now, Brad, he he didn't believe me. I think when because this is the one that worked for me. Right. And, yeah, I just figured you he's always. Yeah, you always were skeptical. I could tell. I'm just a skeptical person. Yeah, and it's now you, it actually helped you. Yeah. Yeah. So did. yeah. And I will do the slide too. Oh, you will. I'll, it feels good now. Yeah, absolutely. So, In fact, you might even start with that. Yep. So I, I'm using the left arm to pull the right arm up a little bit. Because usually what has happened is if you compare the two, like this will be a normal shoulder and this one is the painful one. And, and a lot of times people start right here. Yeah. And the idea that we're trying to, how far Get can it back you up. lift yeah. it up? Yeah. Yeah. Very common test with the uh, shoulder impingement right. McKenzie, issue. Big, Robin McKenzie, a uh, renowned physical therapist who's since passed, uh, that, that's part of his exercise. Right. right. Give credit where credit is due. Right? Absolutely, Bob. Uh, uh, yeah. But I think the chicken wing part, that was. We that was us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't me. It was. It was. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it was, it was good. Uh, so, anyways, again, consistency. Pick out the exercise that work. Don't do them too aggressively. Yeah, aggressively no pain. First. None of these should bring on pain. But you have to do them daily. Once you find the ones that work, do yeah. them daily. Don't do them two days and take three days off yeah. because you were too busy. You have to do it like you're. You have to prioritize. Per, yeah, exactly. Uh, did you pronounce that right? I didn't say it. Right. Nah, that's all right. People, I, they're all tuned off by now. Take care. <laughs>